Number 8 says 1 mole of oxygen gas is at a pressure of 5.6 atmospheres and a temperature of 28 degrees Celsius. A. If the gas is heated at a constant volume until the pressure triples, what is the final temperature? And B. If the gas is heated so that both the pressure and volume are doubled, what is the final temperature? To kind of segue into this, I want to go to some basic fractions. So let, let, let's just do some basic math. So if we could say that 6 equals 3 times 2. And another unrelated math problem, we would say that 10 equals 5 plus 5. Well, if we were to take 6 divided by 10, that should equal 3 times 2 divided by 5 plus 5. So the principle is this, the left side over the left side of the, of the equation is equal to the right side over the right side of the equation. So what I'm getting at is we're going to use the ideal gas law, uh, which is uh, expressed as pressure times volume is equal to the moles times the gas constant times the temperature. And what we're going to do is we're going to say that there's an initial pressure, P1, an initial volume, V1, and it's, it's equivalent to the number of moles initially uh, times the gas law times the temperature initially. And on the gas law, I don't put initial there because it does not change. And if I, actually, if I um, divide this by by P2, uh, V2, the, the final vault pressure and the final volume, and I set that equal to the, the final moles times the gas law times the final temperature, this, this side of the equation should equal this side of the equation. So I'm just going to move this up out of the way, and we're going to, uh, we're going to say that, that P1, V1 e uh, over P2, V2 equals, scribble that out, it equals N2, R, T2, or I'm sorry, not N2, N1, R, T1 over N2, R, T2. And now there's a couple of things that we can do for, to start off with. First of all, R is the same, so it cancels itself out. Then the second thing we do, we look back at the problem and we see what other things remain constant. It says if the gas is heated at a constant volume, so we know that V1 equals V2, so these cancel out. If the gas is heated at a constant volume, that means that the number of moles N1 equals N2 because there, there is no new gas added, it's just heated. So that cancels itself out. So we end up with the initial pressure over the final pressure equals the initial temperature over the final temperature. And so it says if the gas is heated at constant volume until the pressure triples, what is the final temperature? So we know that, that P2 equals 3 times P1. So we can, we can substitute that in that P1 over 3 times P1 equals T1 over T2. And then you can see that P1 cancels out. So I'm just going to move this up. And um, from, from that we can see that 1 third equals T1 over T2. In this situation, so um, if we wanted to solve for, for T2, we could solve for T2 algebraically, we would say that T2 equals 3 times T1. Now in the problem it says that T1 is 28 degrees Celsius. Um, the problem with that is, if we use our gas law constant, which is equal to 0 0.0821, uh, it's, this is in units of liters, uh, liters per, at, liters atmospheres, Kelvin. And so we have to change this into units of Kelvin in order for our gas law constant to cancel out the way it does. And so the initial temperature, the final temperature is going to be three times the initial temperature. But what is the initial temperature? Well, T1 is equal to the, 
the temperature in Celsius plus 273.15. So since the initial temperature in Celsius is 28 degrees, we'll get that T1 is equal to 301.15. And so T2 equals 3 times 301.15. So T2, and this is in units of Kelvin, T2 is equal to 903.45 Kelvin. Now it wants the answer in Celsius, so we've got to subtract 273.15 from that answer. And the final answer in units of, of uh, move everything out of the way, the final answer in units of Celsius is that, that the temperature final of Celsius is 630.3 degrees Celsius.